Storage spaces direct is a brand new concept for Windows, similar to StarWind, VirtualSAN, and VMware vSAN. Please view this short video to understand storage spaces direct. This video is originally created by Microsoft itself. Then I will tell you what is the problem and how to overcome it. Spaces Direct is software defined, shared nothing storage. That's a mouthful. So let's look at a demo to see what this means. We're going to start with just three industry standard servers with internal drives. I want to emphasize that there is no shared storage here, there are no fancy cables, it's just Ethernet connecting three servers. And if I remote desktop into one of those machines, I can actually enumerate the physical disks in that machine and see that there are six of them, the four hard drives and two flash devices. That's it, just local drives. First, let's make a cluster out of these three servers. This will allow them to work together to provide things like high availability. We'll run the new cluster command, listing off those three nodes, and you'll see it just takes a moment to run. We'll form the cluster, and there we have our cluster called demo. And if we enumerate the nodes in this cluster, you'll see that there are three of them. There they are, one, two, three. Great. This is where the magic really starts. Storage Spaces Direct is going to take the internal drives from these servers and create a software-defined pool of storage that is accessible to all of the machines. This pool will have cache, tiers, resiliency, erasure coding across columns, all the things you would expect out of a high-end storage solution configured automatically. To do this, we're going to run the Enable Cluster Storage Spaces Direct command. This can take a short time to run. We'll click Yes and let it go. And just like that, we've enabled Storage Spaces Direct. And if we take a look at the storage pool, we now see all of the drives from all three nodes. And now we're ready to create volumes into which we can put whatever data we want. To do that, we'll run the new volume command. Here I'll run it in a loop just to create a bunch of them. You'll see how quickly this goes. So there I've created one, two volumes. There's a third one. Now something to note here is that these volumes are running the cluster shared volume file system. This means that the volumes will look to each node like they're mounted locally. More than that, these volumes have another interesting property. They have built-in fault tolerance, so that if drives fail, or even if an entire node goes offline, all data stays online and accessible. This means Storage Spaces Direct works great as a scale-out file server or in a hyper-converged configuration where virtual machines sit directly on top of the volumes. Have you find out the problem? Let me help you. The storage spaces direct don't have any graphical user interface. To configure and monitor it, you have to be a master of Windows PowerShell command line. I have told you earlier, VMware and StarWind have similar solution with well-developed graphical user interface. So what to do? StarWind software has developed a monitoring tools for storage spaces direct. Now we are in StarWind software website. Go to the free products, StarWind manager. Download, fill up this form and submit. You will get a link in your email to download this software. StarWind manager, installation and configuration guidance. The software has two parts, one for agent and another is core service. You need to install agent in the server and core service in a monitoring PC or laptop. Installation process is very simple and easy as like any other software. Accept the license agreement. There is the two part of this software. For server, you have to disable the core part. After a few clicks, installation will be completed. It is same for core part also. For core part, disable the management agent options and install it as usual. In monitoring PC, open a browser and type the localhost colon 8100 slash client. Then you will get the monitoring window. In left side of the window, 
add new node give the node name and ip address add node i have already added some node in our cluster you can monitor any windows server performance where is the storage space direct monitoring options click here i have a two node storage space direct the health this section is very important if the storage health status will be warning or critical this good means then everything is okay the storage pool i have a cluster pool and volumes the physical legs and all are healthy and running job it will also show the what's job is running behind the storage space configuration you have to do a lot of hard work to get this information with command line but with this tool so we'll get it very easily and quickly so storewind manager can be a very useful tool for monitoring storage spaces direct